We're outside the City Hall here in England where a Christmas is already in the air. And my name's Alistair Clark, and I'm here to welcome you to today's conference on behalf of the National Institute of Adult Continuing Education, the English Partners in the Qualsey Project. We've been really pleased to be part of this project because there's nothing more important to us than ensuring that adult learners have a good quality of experience. It's been great to work with people from so many other countries and learn from your experiences. Um, and what we hope is that today's conference will bring all of those experiences together so we can actually consolidate our understanding and decide what the right way forward is in the interests of adult learners. I'm off to the office on my bike. See you later. People must have the right information about their learning before they start. So pre-course information is absolutely crucial and good advice so that people start on the right track. The teaching's got to be second to none. Teachers have got to understand the learning process and they've got to empathise with their learner. I can't emphasise that enough. But the environment's got to be right as well. We've got to have a place which is conducive for learning. That's not quite the same as extremely luxurious, but people have got to feel comfortable and they've got to have the resources that they need. Coming back to learning for many adults can be a very brave step. Uh, many will have mixed memories of uh, learning in their school years, so it's absolutely crucial that the experience we give to them uh, is, is a good one, because if you lose them a second time, you lose them forever. Here I am at the NIAS office where the welcome starts in Welsh but then goes through a whole range of other languages. Let's go inside and find Etta. Okay, I've come now to the NIAS office here in Leicester um, and I'm going to introduce you to um, our project manager for the Qualsi. Her name is Etta Tuchiko and she's been following it right from the beginning. Hello Etta, can you tell us why it was that NIAS decided to join in the QualC project? Well, um, NIAS actually exists to promote um, adult learning and therefore the idea of having a quality mark that would be specific for adult learners and adult learning organisations was very attractive to us. Okay, can you tell us a bit about the centres that decided to join the pilot? Right. Well, the, the, there were three centres that decided they wanted to join us. Uh, one was up in the north part of the country, in Cleveland, and the other two were mainly in the middle part of England. Um, all three of them were very, very keen to get involved. And what they basically said to us is, wow, a quality mark that's to do for adult learners. Great stuff. And what did we expect them to do in the pilot? Well, what they were asked to do was actually both go through the process, the quality process, and at the same time have a critical eye on the documentation, what they thought about the process itself, what they thought about the model. So they were doing two things, going through it and at the same time being almost critical um, and giving us some feedback about it. Some people have said that quality processes are rather tedious and bureaucratic. Is that what you found from the pilot? I think it all depends on what you mean by tedious. I mean, if you're already doing quality improvement as part of, of the cycle of the organisation, this should just be another way of recording um, what you're doing and making judgments about it. And did the centres tell you that they found this process useful? Well, that was one of the most interesting parts of the quality process, is that the pilots actually were very keen. They gave their own time. Um, they were not being paid for this. They really wanted to get involved. And in fact, they're all very positive about it. Were there any disadvantages to the process that you came across through the pilots? Um, there was some issues to do with terminology, and I think that's probably a thing to do with a, when you have a European project where there are so many member states. Um, but other than perhaps needing to change some of the language to contextualise it for the UK, I think that on the whole, people were very positive about it. Okay. Well, what would you say was the main learning point from the Qualsey pilot? 
Um, there is an issue, I think, that in at least in the UK, we do have quite a large number of existing quality assurance um, marks and frameworks. And I think there is an issue here about how this is different and how it might fit in. I think the pilots themselves feel that there's some mileage in continuing to do something with Qualsee, but how it would fit together with the other existing marks is something we still to explore. So as someone that hasn't been very involved closely with the project, um, what do you think are the barriers to the Qualsee framework being adopted in the UK? Well, Etta, um, I have seen the enthusiasm with which this particular project has been taken up within the pilots that were uh, invited to trial the system. Um, however, taking it from pilot to roll out across the whole country is uh, a different matter and what we've really got to look at is what are the other quality of frameworks which already exist that uh, centres are buying into and I guess um, there are a number of them which relate to their quality of inf uh, uh, information advice and guidance. There's a matrix framework which does that. There are um, quality frameworks around the way that they treat their staff, investors in people. Um, but most importantly, there is a common inspection framework for uh, all post-16 learning, which is uh, managed by Ofsted. And any publicly funded learning provider is subject to an inspection against that framework. Now, I know the argument that uh, all of those systems are generic and don't specifically address the needs of um, providers of community learning for adults. But on the other hand, uh, we have got to be sure that any adult learning quality mark is genuinely offering some value added on top of the other quality marks which already exist. Okay, well, that's our introduction to the day. We're really pleased to be participating in this European conference today with so many colleagues um, from all sorts of other countries. Um, you've heard our initial views, but uh, we're going to have more to say during the day and we look forward to hearing what you have to say. So, hear from you later.